how do you set up an obelisk trellis in your kitchen garden and why would you want to? That's what we're gonna talk about in this video. I'm gonna show you how to go from this to this. In this video, we're gonna put together an obelisk trellis kit and talk about what you might wanna grow up an obelisk trellis in your garden. So let's get started. Welcome to Gardenary. I am Nicole Burke and garden plus ordinary equals gardenary. So whether you're a beginner gardener, a garden pro who's ready to become a garden coach or somewhere in between, Gardenary is the place for you. So be sure to subscribe to our channel, hit the bell so you get notifications every time a new fun video drops and stay tuned for more garden inspiration. Now we are gonna unbox this obelisk trellis and turn it in to a beautiful structure that can grow our cucumbers, tomatoes, peas, all the good stuff. So this is an obelisk trellis kit that is in our shop at gardenary.com. Um, you'll find a link to this trellis below this video. So I do have to say, I wanted to show you fully everything that's included in the kit, including the plastic. So it is kind of a bummer that there's a good bit of plastic on this, um, on this kit, but I just, you know, what's it called? Where you let your buyer be wear. Um, the main reason they're doing this is because it's metal and there's a lot of metal pieces all included here. So if they were not to, you know, I don't know, cover these up, then you're probably gonna end up with a really scratched up trellis. Um, but you do end up with some plastic, so I have to let you know that. Um, I wish there was a way to recycle this or do something with it. The best thing I did is I gave it to my kids and they turned it into a game, popping the bubble wrap. So what you're gonna do is unbox this, unwrap everything and start to put it together. Now this comes in just a few pieces. We have the top of the arch right here, and then we have the lower stakes, and you'll get a variety of stakes depending on how tall of an obelisk trellis you're building. And then we do have the simple hardware pieces. So this will include the little um, fleur de -lis that goes at the top, as well as any of the screws that you need to, um, to connect it. So I wanna quickly just say what an obelisk trellis is and why you might wanna use it. So an obelisk trellis, I like to say there's three types of trellises to use in a kitchen garden. There is an arch trellis, a panel trellis, and an obelisk trellis. You can generally divide most trellises into those three categories. So, oh my goodness, I can't cut this open. So obelisk trellises have this kind of pyramid type shape. And to me, they're ideal for growing in a wider garden. So whenever you have a garden set up that's at least say two and a half, three feet, four feet wide, obelisk trellises are great to place right down in the center. So anytime you're wanting to grow your vines up the center rather than on the back of the garden or between the gardens, obelisk trellises are the best thing to do. Obelisk trellises, I like to say the one limitation is the fact that they kind of come to this top point all together. So if you have a lot of plants down below and they're kind of vining and going crazy, when they hit that top, they can kind of all, you know, <laughs> spread out and run out of space to grow. So that to me is the only downside to growing with obelisk. The reason why I chose to add these to my garden is I wanted to have the maximum amount of space to grow my cucumbers for the rest of the season. And I knew if I just did one arch trellis, I could grow between the beds, but I wouldn't be able to grow nearly as many plants as I'll get to grow on these six total obelisk trellises. So that's what an obelisk trellis is. So now what we're gonna do is unpackage all this stuff. I just wanted you to see what it looks like when it comes out of the box. So I'm gonna unpackage all of them, is that a word? Unwrap all of them, and then I'll show you how easy it is to put this kit together and turn it into a great obelisk trellis in your kitchen garden. Let's do it. All right, so now we've got all of the pieces unwrapped and we're ready to put these obelisk trellis together. So I've got five done. 
one more to go. So I wanna show you how the pieces come. So first you get these two arch pieces. These obviously are gonna go on the top. And there's one piece that um, is clearly the one that's meant to go on top of the other because the other is indented a little bit. So this is gonna get the shape of your trellis going. Now there's a little hardware package and this finial is in there. So this is really the first step is to just start to get the general um, shape of your obelisk going. So you're gonna put one screw underneath and then you're gonna tighten it up with the finial. Now let me say this from the beginning, you're not gonna get it exactly right for the way the shape is gonna go. You'll kind of figure it out after you put your first hoop on. And that brings me to the next thing that comes in the kit. So you can try to space this out, but the thing you don't wanna do is tighten it too far right now because we're gonna be adjusting it as we go. All right, so you get three hoops. Um, I think you get more if you buy a larger trellis. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Basically, you wanna line up, try to squeeze all of the sides in and slide your hoop up like this, all right? So it takes a little bit of finagling. I had my kids helping me doing this and they're like, it won't fit. Um, but you just have to finagle it. Is that a word? I think so. All right, the um, hardware comes with screws. Are these screws nuts and bolts, I guess? No, just screws and bolts. And what you're gonna do, there's four sections, four holes. Does this work better if I put this up here? I think so. So there's four holes and you're just going to go around and just start to get it slightly in here. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the first row right now and then we'll add the second one. Um, so what I do try to do is, um, as you can see, there's a little bit of a, there's a give here. So it's not like an exact hole. So if I can, if possible, I try to push the screw in at the same spot on the hole on all four. This makes me hopefully lined up a little bit more so that it's more evenly set up. Like I said, you're gonna adjust this at the end. So it's okay if it looks wonky here. As we put together the other ones with my kids, we were all doubting that it was gonna turn out. We are all thinking it was a little too wonky, but it turned out. All right, so that is the first level, all right? We got the first level in, and uh, then we're gonna slide the next one. So this one's um, a little bit trickier because you've already got this first set up, and so you may have to adjust a little bit. I have my plants in my way here. Oops. So I'm gonna go over here near the soil that's okay and start to put these in too so these are gonna go just like the top ones and again I'm trying to go to the same spot on each um, rung so you can see how I kind of have to push the um, the trellis to the hoop so if you have to do that when you're putting it together that's okay all right, you can tell I'm not an Ikea furniture uh, person. <laughs> this isn't, I'm a gardener, not an obelisk trellis builder, but hey, right? Oh, you know what? I forgot to tell you. One thing we realized that makes it a little bit easier is to turn it on its side. So it takes a little bit of the pressure off, the gravity pull, and then you can adjust a little bit easier. So we discovered this after putting together three of them. We did this with the fourth and fifth. And believe it or not, we're getting pretty close to finishing. Doesn't look like it yet, but we are. All right, the fourth one goes on. And then what happens is we are set to finish up with the final rung. All right, so for the final step, we're gonna add the final rung and I highly recommend going ahead and sliding it onto your trellis before you add your next level of height to the trellis. Otherwise, you have to slide them all the way up this plus this, 
and it's not a pretty sight. Now, these all have a little bit of slight curve to them, so you just wanna double check that when you insert them into the trellis system that they're going the right direction that the rest of your rods are going. So I know this curve is going the right direction to go with the rest of the trellis. So they do have, you know, there's an option basically to go one way or the other. And you just wanna make sure yours are going the right way. All right, so I did something funny. I got soil in here because I put it in my garden. All right, so we're gonna slide this in. Hopefully the soil's not in the way. Did I put that in the right way? Um, so like I said, do as I say, not as I did, and make sure it's turned the right direction so that they're all gonna be uh, going with the direction of the hoop. And don't put your trellis in the soil like I did anything for the video, right guys? Okay, um, last one, slides on. And then what we're gonna do is slide this down. Now this is the most precarious part. I'm gonna slide my trellis up over the bed to hold it. This is the most precarious step because you're trying to um, kind of hold it all together. This new level of uh, the trellis is not firm um, and secure in the, the trellis. That is, I would say, the one downfall of this design is the additional height to the garden. It doesn't really, um, it'll attach sort of, but you have to, in some ways, kind of always hold it in place. Now, once you get it into the garden, it's set, but um, just wanna be sure, you know, full disclosure, Nothing's perfect. So really what I found with trellises, unless you buy a custom made trellis um, or a trellis that's all one piece, it's never perfect. So it's never the situation where there's no um, breakage or possible rusting, that kind of thing. Um, but it's better and more longer lasting than a wood option. So I still love doing metal trellises, even if I can't get um, a all one piece but if you're in the market for a super you know super high-end super nice super long lasting trellis then you could absolutely go for a one piecer but this is a great start very affordable and will give you tons of growing space so then i have basically done it so i'm going to take my trellis la you can see it's kind of crooked so what i'm going to do is place it sort of in the garden. It's not permanent. Obviously I've got to straighten it up, but now what I'm going to do is just tighten. So I'll take my, this comes with a little, what's this called? I don't know, tightener. And I want to tighten to get things like this straightened up. So the goal is to get all my lines straight. And what I generally do, like I was showing you how there's give, on these attachments is just make sure all the attachments are about at the right, the same part of the hole. So I'll tighten it by hand and then I'll tighten it with this. And once you get them all like completely tight, what we found is that the trellis kind of self straightened, but it really wasn't until we got everything completely tightened up that it looked, you know, straight like the rest of them. So that is about all that is included. I don't know if I will ever do a construction video for you guys again, but hopefully you feel inspired to make this happen. This is the sixth one we've done. So, um, you know, six one's the charm, right? Uh, you learn a little bit of lessons. Anytime you put together something like this, it's never perfect, um, but it's very functional and I'm gonna be able to grow a ton of cucumbers up these. So if you see this little crooked, we'll straighten this up. And then what we'll do is slide this down all the way deep into the, the garden so that it's even with the rest of these. All right, we have gone from box to trellis and in a few months, this little cutie pie is gonna be covered with cucumbers, believe it or not. So I worked up a sweat, I don't know about you, but if you're interested in purchasing this obelisk trellis or some of our other trellis kits, I've got a link to all those in the show notes right below um, this video. So you can just go down there, find a link and check out our gardenary trellises, or you can just Google 
gardenery trellises. I hope that you love putting trellises in the garden as much as I do. I think they just add an architectural element, so much beauty and function in one little piece. And uh, it's the thing that I get asked the most about on all my posts, so I guess you guys are interested in them too. Hopefully this gives you inspiration and know-how so that when you get your kit, you're not overwhelmed like I was when I put together the first one. If you wanna bring your garden to the next level, and not just with trellises, but in your brain, go check out the Green Thumb Quiz. The link to that is below this video as well. The Green Thumb Quiz will show you where you are in your garden journey and give you resources to grow to the next level. Thanks for sweating with me. <laughs> and putting together this trellis. I hope you enjoyed it, uh, watching me squirm as I do a little bit of construction. Uh, take care and I'll see you next time.